A year after releasing Good Notes 5, the Good Notes team has finally decided to add auto backup to the application. Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about the paperless life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go paperless with your life. And if you already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. We've been waiting a long time for this. Was it worth waiting for? Let's find out. So the GoodNotes team has added auto backup and they still left us the option to manually backup our documents in the application. So now you have both options. If you feel like you like manually backing up your notes, then this is great. But if you've been waiting for auto backup like the rest of us normal humans, you'll be very happy with this update. So when you turn on your auto backup, you are asked to sign in into the cloud storage of your choice. I'm backing up to Google Drive because it's free. 15 gigabytes free, why not? You can also back up to Dropbox or OneDrive. Now, these are the most basic cloud services available on the market. Most of us will use one of these. You can name your destination folder and you can choose to back up your notes as a PDF, as a GoodNotes file or as both. You have the option to exclude some folders or files containing certain words and I have decided to exclude all my rough notebooks and all my untitled notes because if something is untitled, in my opinion, it's not worth backing up. It's probably just a rough notebook that I was just fooling around in. While your application is backing up, you can view the folders that are queuing or lining up to be backed up. And you have the option to empty your queue, which is your line of documents waiting, or you can pause your backup and those options are quite useful. This is definitely a huge improvement from the auto backup we had in GoodNotes 4. You certainly have more control and you can do so much more when you're backing up your notes in GoodNotes 5 than you could in GoodNotes 4. However, if you preferred backing up your notes to Box, this might not be great news for you because Backing up to Box is still missing in GoodNotes 5. I do hope that they will bring Box very soon because they did have it in GoodNotes 4. So I would like to know your thoughts and your emotions towards the new update from GoodNotes 5. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.